lectures will be based on some customization that we will do uh, into our Power Apps Canvas app. So one thing I uh, thought I will show you on this is how we can create a drop down list from an Excel uh, in this Power Apps Canvas app. So if you look at this picture, you can see here, this is the drop down that I am. Uh, we are trying to build it here. Now the problem is because when you will create an app from an Excel, by default, all the uh, uh, the columns will appear as a text box, even if there is any drop down or anything is there. So how we will convert it so that whenever a user will save the items or edit or modify or delete the item, how it will do that? I will show you that. So without further delaying anything, what I'll do is I'll open a Excel I have, you can see here task uh, is the Excel name and on this if you look at this there is uh, three columns are there and I have not added value for these two columns because I wanted to do, uh, tell you what exactly I am trying to do here. Now I will add a column here, uh, sorry a, another sheet and I will rename it to websites and on this uh, basically I will say websites, this will be my heading and then I will add here spguides.com and then enjoy sharepoint.com and the last one I will add is sharepoint.net.com so you can see here sharepoint.net.com okay so these three things are there so what I want here is you might have been seen if you are little bit of Excel knowledge you will see here that uh, these are the things which which a drop down will come uh, so that it will be easier for users to select it. Now how it will come is you can select a, a column here go to the data tab and then you can see here this option which is known as the data validation. Click on this data validation and from here you choose list. And when you are choosing list, click uh, on this icon you can see here. And then uh, you can go to that list and you can select the values. So you can see here, I have selected the values and then you can go here. You can see this is how it is. Click on OK. Now when you click on OK, if you will come here, you can see SP Guides is there. Now this is not coming. What you can do is you can just drag it here. So here the drop downs will come like this. You can see here right so now to create and uh, uh, to create an app by using this excel what we will do is the same thing that we have i have already discussed here i will just again do this i'll select it and then i will go to the home tab format as table so you can see here and i'll say table has a header like this same way what i'll do is i want this to be also we will use it and for this also I will select this format as a table and I will say first one is the header. Now on this I will give the table 2 will be websites. Okay, I will give the name and then this table 1 I forgot and here I will give tasks. Okay, so we have done this much. Till this much our Excel is project. I will uh, go to the OneDrive for business. You can see here. So we are opening the OneDrive for business. I'll upload the file here. So go to my files. I'll upload it here. Uh, files upload and I will select the file task here. So now my uh, file is there. Yeah, it will be uploaded. You can see here. Now you can see this. So the file is there. Now what we will do is I'll go to make.powerapps.com. I'll create a app here. I'll select it. We have already discussed on this. I'll not explain much. So here my connection is already there. I'll select it and I will choose this task here. You can see and then I will select the first one will be on the task. Uh, this one I'll click on connect. So you can see here the moment you uh, click on connect and it, it will create a, as I said, full fledged app for us. But I will show you one thing. If I'll just play it here, you can click on this and you see here now the task name website. This is coming as a text box. But what I want is I want this to come as a drop down. Uh, so uh, what I will do here is I will add another. Uh, first thing is we need to add another uh, data source here because I want the values from the websites from that Excel. Add data and I will select OneDrive for business. And then I will select 
same uh, task this time this time i'll select websites i'll click on connect so now i have two things are there so on this basically what you will do is select the form and then you can see here click on edit fields and on the edit fields you can see here this website is there you can expand it and then you click on edit text here and then you said allowed values you can see here this allowed values you select it now you can see here this becomes a uh, drop down so close it and then now you click on this one and uh, we need to change this items so what we will have to do is first of all you go to the advanced and click on this unlock the properties and then you remove this these things and then you choose websites here uh, you can see here and, uh, still there is an error in the data card dot value dot selected dot website so you select this so now once you do this just save it give a name for it so i'll say tasks up and then click on the save button so now you will see here i saved it so what we will do is i'll just publish it once so i'll click on uh, this publish button i'll click on publish so i'm not doing anything i'm just doing publish here now we published it so i'll go to make.powerapps.com and on this if you go to the apps you can see this is the task app so click over here and then you can see here flex for sp guides and daniel enjoy sharepoint you just click on this now you can see here if i will just edit it you can see here sp guides is selected here and then you go back and you choose sophia you can see here you edit it sharepoint.net is selected and if you want to add one new item you can see here suppose i will say bj and i will say sharepoint demo and then i will probably select sp guides i'll click on save now the value will be saved you can see here uh, this one the second item now you can see here if you edit it values are coming like this so if you we'll look at this now instead of simply having a text box we have a a drop down like this you can see it here so this is how we can do it and same way it, if you'll open this excel you will see the items has been there so this is how we can uh, create a uh, you know drop down list from the excel and we can use it inside this apps